Well guys, I just want to put something together for the 4th of July. I've had this idea for a long time and it took me several months to work on this thing. I started working on it in November of 21. It's, I'm recording this video in Memorial Day weekend of 22. So it's been a lot of time and work and money went into this project. And I think it turned out pretty good. It had several issues and it's still not perfect. And as you can see, it features a chain drive set up to sync the three engines together. And it just has a standard one, two, three, one, two, three firing order. It's even fire. And I had several issues with it. In the last video of it running here, the flywheel key sheared and the flywheel came off number one. So I gotta fix that now, but I got enough of it running. And there's a whole video of it that'll be coming up with the construction of it every step of the way just about and I think it turned out really good so hope you guys enjoyed this project and like I said stay tuned for the video of the construction of it and this features a uh, three five horse Briggs and Stratton flathead engines and one and two are both the same year engines somehow the third one's a newer one you can see the recoil was made a little different on it and yeah I'm really happy with this project and uh, got several other ideas in mind for similar projects uh, the other ones will probably won't be chain drive i'm going to try to uh, get into machining more and make an actual two three or four cylinder engine something like that but this is just something for right now just to kind of mess with and I always wanted to hear a three cylinder gas engine flathead running and I've heard three-cylinder diesels a lot, but never heard a three-cylinder uh, flathead gasoline engine running, so that was kind of interesting to hear. As you can see, we just have a straight pipe on it, no muffler. I had a muffler on it, as you can see in the construction video, and this honestly brings out the sound of the engine. It seemed to run better with this, so we just kept a straight pipe, no muffler on it. Decided to kind of balance the collars out a little bit, as you can see the you know, the, on this side, the red, you got the red handle and the, what I call the control panel with the tack. I had it set for about 1200 RPM idling. And this is a carburetor off of a 8 horsepower vertical shaft engine. It's a brand new carburetor. This is actually a Tecumseh gas tank. So on this side, we've got blue brackets and a blue gas tank to go with the blue engine. And I ran out of nothing. I didn't really have nothing to paint white, so I just decided to paint those two brackets white. And the, exhaust, the intake manifold was painted silver. It was originally going to be black, but I just kind of wanted to make them look different and stand out. I just thought this would be something neat to put up for the 4th of July. And I'm not the most patriotic person, but I've always liked the 4th of July and the red, white, and blue and all that good stuff. So I <laughs> just thought I'd do something different. So, Well, guys, any questions, comments, suggestions for future projects, feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think on this and uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can so thanks for watching guys we'll catch you on the next one